World leaders have rallied around the United Nations for initiative to help the most vulnerable countries gain access to vaccines, diagnostics and treatment tools for the coronavirus as soon as they emerge. But noticeably absent were leaders from the United States, which is the hardest hit country in the world, and China, where the virus first appeared. This as the World Health Organization announced the launch of a new effort to accelerate the development of vaccines, diagnostics and therapeutics in response to the coronavirus pandemic. Britain is to start trials to see whether plasma collected from donors who have recovered from COVID-19 could be an effective treatment for patients who are severely unwell with the disease. The United Kingdom will host a summit on June 4th to encourage the international community to come together to support the development of a COVID-19 vaccine. Meanwhile, the death toll in the United States surpassed 52,000 amid more than 925,000 cases. Elsewhere, the Indian government allowed a limited reopening of shops in neighborhoods and residential areas from Saturday, more than a month after the nation went into lockdown to curb the spread of the coronavirus. Meanwhile, China has reported no new deaths from the coronavirus in the last 10 days as attention turned to northern provinces bordering Russia. The vast majority of new cases in the country have been imported, according to health authorities. And Africa's coronavirus cases have surged 43% in the past week, but countries are dangerously behind in the global race for scarce medical equipment, with tens of nations having no ventilators at all. South Africa plans to reopen its agriculture sector and allow some manufacturing and retail to resume as the country balances the need to restart economic output and curb the spread of the new coronavirus. For Channel One News, I am Emily K. Buddy.